Hey guys, today we're going to learn about the whois command. Now, um, today I'm going to show you, so I actually don't have the whois command installed, so I'm going to show you how to install the whois command on Ubuntu Linux, and I'm going to show you how to use it really quick. I'm not going to cover all of the options for it. There are a lot of um, less common options that you normally wouldn't use in practice, but you might want to use. So I'm going to look at them really briefly, but I'm not going to really cover them or get into to detail with them because they're they're mostly not useful in most cases. But any case, just a real quick video just to show you how to use the who is command, show you how to install it and how to use it real quick. So the who is command, um, I, I forgot to mention, I should have said this first, but um, the who is command lets you look up who owns a domain name, assuming they've made that info uh, public. Some people buy them through a third party, which will kind of act as uh, an intermediary and will kind of shield your real name. Uh, so, so you can buy a domain with domain privacy and uh, people won't be able to look up um, who owns that domain. They'll just see the company that owns it on your behalf or, or kind of or provides uh, or that the company that you purchased it through and they'll provide um, some form of pri privacy for you. So you might only see the company that um, the company that is providing that privacy or who, who the person bought the domain for. So you won't always be able to see the real owner of the domain. So that's worth being aware of. But it's something you can look up and sometimes you can find the real owner of a domain and the real administrative contact. So that's kind of useful to know about. But we're going to show you how to how to get this working. So if we run the who is command like this, who is. Um, so command not found. So like we could say Google, this would be like a this would be a valid. Um, oops, I cannot type today. So a valid. Um, valid command here. So who is google.com? Who is not found? So um, <clears throat> we're going to do, I, I normally would do a sudo apt update before installing anything, but I only, I just did that a few minutes ago on a previous video. I was showing people how to use the eth tool command. So in this video, we've already updated our repo info. Um, so normally I would say apt, I would say sudo apt update. I'm not going to run that because I already ran that just a few minutes ago. So I'm just going to say apt install <clears throat> who is. <clears throat> and this should take a minute, but not too long. All right, there we go. Now we can run the who is command and it works. Now notice it gives you a ton of, uh, ton of options here. Um, yeah. You can return off recursive lookups, only primary keys returned, find one level, blah, blah, blah. All these things that you normally wouldn't need to, uh, you, you wouldn't need to look at. In most cases, you can you can use alternate ports and stuff like that. Normally, you're not going to use most of this. So um, you, you might have some edge case where that becomes useful, but normally you don't need that. So for example, you look up the man page for this, it's a little bit more useful tells you like the syntax and stuff and some of the options you could use like return brief IP address ranges with abuse contact. I mean that might be useful if you're, if you're and um, yeah search mirrored databases stuff like so some of this might be useful but normally isn't useful so if there's something specific you're looking for you know maybe check the man page. Anyways let's clear that out and just let's just get to it and run the who is command. So who is let's try Google first. Google.com. And um, so this gives you a ton of output. A lot of it is just like um, this is just like legal info or whatever, but you agree to abide by this policy, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Mark monitor domain management. Okay, so if you scroll up here, here's the actual useful information and a lot of extra output. There's just a ton of output from this. But okay, so starting at the top, domain name, google.com, registry domain ID. And you can see like registrar who is server. So this is where we're, uh, this is the who is server that's keeping track of it. Registrar URL. Um, so I, I guess the domain was registered with this registrar. Uh, updated date, uh, creation date. So it looks like Google created this domain um, back in 1997, and this will expire in 2028. So, you know, if they don't renew uh, their domain, you could probably take the Google domain in 2028 if you wanted. Um, this is the registrar. 
I A N A I D and some other stuff, an abuse email. So like if you were getting spammed by someone from Google.com or if they were distributing viruses or something, you, you might uh, contact this abuse. You might contact abuse complaints at Mark Monitor. Now, um, the, so far, there's nothing here that explicitly tells you that Google owns this domain, even though everyone knows Google or Alphabet is the company that owns the domain Google.com. And you can kind of guess from the domain name. We're seeing it's registered. This is the registrar, Mark Monitor, and, it, and we're not really seeing that it's owned by Google. So um, you see name server. It gives you some of the name servers for this domain and some other stuff. So a big legal notice in terms of use and let's see more information yeah more more of the same information here and yeah okay see here we go so we do actually see the so we we see the uh company that registered it so it isn't private they're not keeping their their info private registrant organization google llc in california united states um, it doesn't give a Google address or phone number, so it gives you com abuse complaints at markmonitor.com and a phone number you could call if you wanted. Um, gives you like the admin organization and a bunch of other information. Um, let's see, no real contact info for Google, which is not a huge surprise since it's Google. And what else? Yeah, that's about it. That's all you get there. So yeah, that's that's how the who is command works. Now let's say if we want to look for another address. So I'm I'm gonna have another. Um, let's let's try who is, and let's paste this this address in here. And now I don't think you you can't use the actual URL like that. You need to just use the domain name. So so yeah, if you, it, it's not this this adding HTTPS that's the URL, but the actual domain name is just low orbit. Dot net. So now let's look up low-orbit.net. Who is? Now let's scroll up to the top here. All right, let's see. So low low orbit, and it gives you some of the same information. You can see it's registrar registered at namecheap.com, and uh, yeah, Namecheap. It was last updated uh, 2022. Uh, creation date was 2018. That's when this domain was registered. Um, you know, you get abuse at Namecheap, so you, and you get a phone number, so you could email or call Namecheap if you wanted. So if you want to look up, and you, you can see the DNS servers associated with this are name server one, two, and three at digitalocean.com. Now, this domain is actually owned by me. So this is my domain. This is the domain loworbit.net. This is the domain that's associated with this YouTube channel. So this YouTube channel goes together with um, with my, with a website. I, I basically have a blog, a tech blog connected to this tech YouTube channel. They both go together. And um, and yeah, so this is the uh, this is the website that goes together with this YouTube channel that you're watching right now. So I own this and you'll notice you don't see my name in here anywhere because I, I did register it through Namecheap, but they provide um, they provide privacy protection. So it won't list my name in here at all. Now, if you wanted to figure out who I am, I mean, I'm only like pseudo anonymous. Like this YouTube channel is, is like I'm, I've shared this on my LinkedIn account and my Facebook page so you can kind of figure out who I am I'm not exactly anonymous I'm only kind of pseudo anonymous but uh anyway so that's not like a big secret or anything but yeah so gives you more of the same information and no mention of my actual real name so you're not going to be able to look up who I really am based on who is info so for most people who who opt for privacy it you're not going to be able to figure out who they really are from who is you're going to, you're, you can find it out some other way but not from the who is info so yeah look here you get admin email is this big long thing at withheldforprivacy.com so i guess that's a privacy provider or something like that associated with namecheap.com and city and uh, street yeah so anyways that is that is pretty interesting. Yeah, I have not looked up the who is info for my own domain. But um but yeah, so that that was interesting. Let, let's try another domain ju just to look at it. So, who is 
Adam the Automator. So this is another tech blogger. This is not me, but this is another guy. I've actually used his guides to look up answers myself. But um, you know, I, I guess you'd say he's also kind of a competitor because he has, has a competing blog. But in any case, um, I find his content useful, and you should also check out his uh, his blog here at this you know at this domain. But anyways, let's look up his who is info. Actually, let's let's just clear this and add a few spaces there. All right, there we go. With all this output, it's hard to keep track of. And let's see here. Yeah, so we, we see who is um, blah, blah, blah. Sam, so he got it through DreamHost. That's probably also his hosting, not just his uh, name server registrar. All right, so he's using Cloudflare. What else? Um, so domain name, Adam the Automator, DreamHost, blah, blah, blah. And what else? Yeah, proxy protection. Yeah, so it looks like it's not going to give his real info. And let's see, proxy, DreamHost. Yeah, so it's not really giving you real contact info for the guy running this. You could probably look him up. I'll bet he has a, I'll bet he has a LinkedIn account and it's connected to this. He's probably not exactly completely private. But yeah, you're not going to get his real contact info from who is info. So most people are are going to be actually anonymous and you only see the company that they're buying the domain through. You're not going to be able to look up the real person behind it in most cases. So um, one thing, interesting thing, if you don't use privacy protection and you purchase a domain name, you're, you're going to get people spamming you. People will call you. People will email you. People will send you physical things in the mail. I've had people send me physical mail to like like actual snail mail in, in, on, on physical paper and this mail will say hey you have to read re you have to you know re-register your domain name before it expires if you don't re register it before it expires you know you're going to lose your domain go to our website to register it. and it's really like a scam they're trying to get you to re-register your domain through them for a high price when you know you, you already have a registrar so you don't want to trust people like that you know you want to be kind of wary of that stuff but people will try to spam you people will say hey we can develop a website for you we can do all this stuff for you um, things like that. They'll try to sell you all kinds of stuff if they can look up your real info. So you want to kind of try to avoid that. So that's pretty much it. This is, uh, you know, my quick, uh, overview of the who is command. Hopefully you found it useful. Maybe, maybe interesting if, if not useful. Um, we have a lot of other great content. We do a lot of stuff with servers, coding, Linux, uh, 3D printing, Raspberry Pis, robots, electronics, uh, networking, and all sorts of great stuff you don't want to miss out on. So hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon so YouTube actually lets you know when we come out with new videos that you're not going to want to miss out on. Give me a thumbs up and also leave a comment down below if you know something I don't know, not just for me, but for the next person who watches this video. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, definitely leave a comment and thanks for watching. We will see you guys on that next video.